Right. So what to do? So a lot of people have, you know, been saying, and I'm one of those people as well, um, that events, upcoming events have been postponed, delayed, or even cancelled. Um, there's some events for whatever reason, the client may have decided not to go virtual with the event. So yes, that is an option, um, but some people have decided not to go virtual and they have had to cancel, delay or postpone the, the live in-person event. But here I see an opportunity because here's the thing, especially for, you know, if you work on your the marketing for events like I do, um, it's an opportunity to go back to some of your strategies, okay, and firm them up and look at where you can tighten it up because now you have more time. And obviously you've got a whole different set of facts around you as well, which would always be changing up until the point when the event comes back on the calendar. But it's a really good time to go back and look at those strategies because the thing that, you know, <laughs> as we all know, time is, you know, precious. And sometimes we don't have enough time to do all of the things we want to do when it comes to the marketing of an event. Now we actually have that time. So let's use it wisely. That's what I will be doing. I'm looking at some of the strategies, practices and, 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 and tips that I usually share with clients. And I'm looking back at them and thinking, how can I strengthen them? Are there areas in which this could be stronger, more effective? Um, and, and, and noting those things down. And I've got a great opportunity now to try and test some of those strategies out because I can host and launch virtual events okay and certainly really see how social media at the moment depending on the platform responds to some of these strategies email marketing for example something that people are always arguing is dead and done well at the moment clearly it's not because emails is one of the main ways i'm being communicated with much less choosing to communicate with other people so there's a real opportunity here for you to go back and really dig deeper into some of your marketing strategies you know and think about is this the best one how can we tighten it up how can we test it out how can we experiment be creative and, and get it right so that's what i wanted to share with you